Hey, aloha my internet family. How are you today? Welcome back to Practical Praying. And boy, I want to say it has been an exciting couple of weeks here. Uh, Channel has had some really exponential, exponential, blah, 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 I can't say that word, exponential growth. And I want to thank every single one of you out there for watching the videos, for liking the videos, um, and all the people who have helped mentor me to grow the channel. A special thank you to everyone out there. So with that, you guys ready to have some fun? Let's go. Okay, so this week's topic is the new B3 Innovations uh, Pico Hybrid Hot End uh, that's going to be coming to Kickstarter soon. The gentlemen over there were nice enough to send me a beta unit to play with pre-release so I could... Um, kind of get a feel for it and um, get my two cents over to them on you know what I liked, what I didn't like, and uh, see where it's going to go. So let me show this fella to you. It is tiny. Uh, see if I can get that to focus. i got to go over there. Yeah, it is tiny. Now, just for size comparison, let me show you this. That's a quarter. That's a quarter next to it. It is tiny. Uh, and to give you the nickel tour, this on top is a blower that cools the heat sink fins. This is a parts cooler uh, directed down at the nozzle. So this includes your parts blower, your hot end blower, your nozzle, everything. It is tiny. Um, and one of the things that I wanted to point out, while this would come with an aluminum block, I actually 3D printed an experimental one that will allow me to mate this up. Let me pull this up here. Um, to an E3D Titan. And um, from what I'm what I'm told, the transition on this between where I have the, the plastic coupler at uh, and the hot end, it is sh a sharp enough transition that you can actually use a printed uh, adapter up here. So just to show you, especially with the new E3D Aero Titan out there, uh, this is obviously not screwed together, but we'll just snap it together just for visual reference. And a few of you may have actually seen me tweet this out there. That is how tiny this thing is. It's about the same width as the Titan. All compact, all put together. Um, so this will come with, let me show you the bag of doohickeys here, various adapters. I showed you the printed one. This is one of the metal ones that comes with it. This is a standard groove mount, uh, about the same size as most of the J-heads. Now, for the Titan, I had to trim up this top shelf about one millimeter to get it to fit into the Titan and be closer to the E3D V6 mount. Um, just to show you a visual comparison, there is a Titan with a V6. That's the Titan with the Pico. Or let me put them in that order. See if we can do that. So that's the size reference there for you. It is tiny. Um, now I have not had a chance to get this installed on a printer yet um, at this point I'm still playing with it I'm really impressed with the workmanship that I'm seeing so far uh, so this is just a first look um, to show you what's coming down the pipeline for us of things that I'll I'll get to play with and um, get you more information on one of the things that I did want to point out you can see that there's a, a little hole there this comes with several I mean, aside from the groove mount option that they've got, I think, six or seven different adapters that they're planning to fit different printers. Um, aside from that, for the thermistor, it's, it is a screw-in style that goes right into the side. And it is interchangeable. This is actually a PT100, um, similar to what the Ultimakers use and a few of the other boards, and I believe E3D introduced those. This will allow this thing to get up over 300. Uh, you can print some really hot filament with this. It also comes with optional uh, 
that's a 100k thermistor with the same cartridge style. It just screws in, so it's very easy to change those out. Uh, it's a really, really well thought out, thought out piece. And I know Jatman's Dustin has also been running these on one of his um, his self built machines, the Ultimaker. I believe it's an Ultimaker clone. And he's been running it for months now, loving it. So I really look forward to getting this onto a printer and we'll give you more feedback at that point. But for now, it's just a first look at the D3 Innovations Pico Hybrid. Oh, actually, one other last thing to point out. It can do, if I can get that up there, just by changing out the nozzle cartridge, you can go from all metal to uh, metal with with a Bowden tube or Teflon tube, PTFE, PTFE tube through it, just by unscrewing it and changing out that nozzle, you can change it from 1.75 to three millimeter. So you can basically change your entire filament path just by changing out that nozzle. It's really well thought out. So with that, I will leave you to your weekend. Go back and print cool things. Full disclosure, B3 Innovations did provide this Pico unit to me to beta test and work with free of charge. However, I am not being compensated to promote this hot end in any way, shape, or form. Um, the opinions I'm of what I'm telling you are mine and mine alone. And um, we'll uh, look forward to having a full review once I can get this thing onto a machine and get some filament pushed through it. With that, I'll leave you. Have a great weekend. Go print all the things, and we'll see you next time on Practical Printing.